Hello and welcome to the ninth part of the Symphony Services course. Today we're going to be focusing on private and public services. So let's dive straight into the tutorial. This is the ninth tutorial in this course and this will be added to the GitHub repository. I'll provide a link in the description below. So we're in the default controller here and as you can see we are pulling out two services, the app.validation user and app.validation product. So we are publicly accessing two services from the dependency container in Symfony using this get and this get down here. But if we look in app and config and we go into the services.yaml, we can see that we actually have lots of services that have been defined. In fact, we have five services, the app validator user, the validator admin, the validator product and the validation user and the validation product. So we actually have five services here, but we're only publicly accessing two of them. Now, this means that we can set the other services as private. And in doing so, we actually gain a little bit of performance. So the ones that we can set as private are the ones that are being injected into these services. So, for example, the validator admin and the validator product. These can be set to private. And we do this by adding another definition to our services config. So if we add in here public and we set this, whoops, set this to be false, like so, we're now saying that the validator admin service cannot be accessed publicly from the container. However, it can still be treated like a dependency to another service. So let's add public false to uh, the validator user, like so, and let's add false to this one too. So they are all set to false um, apart from these two. If we save the file and refresh the browser here, we should see that nothing has actually changed. Now, if you do have a lot of the services that aren't actually being accessed publicly, if you set them to private, then you do gain a small bit of performance because there is a performance overhead when pulling out a service publicly. But what happens if you set a service as private and try and pull that publicly from the service container? Let's go back to the tutorial and grab public false, set that as the service definition for the validation user. Let's save that. We cannot pull that publicly from the container. So in order to fix this, we need to go back into uh, the tutorial here and set that to be true. Refresh the page and we should see that that has now fixed, which it has. So when defining your services, ensure that you're setting them to either public or private. If, for instance, your services are going to be accessible publicly from the container, as in getting them out of the container in a controller, then yes, they should be set to public. However, if your services are merely just dependencies that are injected into other services, then you may as well set them to be false. And in doing so, you do gain a small performance overhead. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do give it a thumbs up. Do share it around to others that might find it useful as well. If you've got any comments, questions or queries, on this tutorial or any other tutorial in this series, then leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want any code reviewed, then do check out the Discord server as well. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.